we got some news about the FPV Out project. Yep, um, the FPV Out project has posted an update today um, relating to the Access HD box and the rest of the FPV Out project. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, uh, Junus made a post over on that, and we've got that here for you. Um, I'm bringing that up right now. Basically, um, he's letting us know that uh, a couple different things about the project. So if you don't know, FPV out is the way you get DJI video out of uh, of the DJI goggles to different sources like the Android uh, phones or, uh, you know, different boxes like the Axis HD flying box, right, or a website, things like that. Um, so uh, number one, DigiView has been abandoned um, and is no longer being seeing updates or bug fixes. Um, DigiView is open source, so if anybody wanted to pick up that helm, uh, you know, a developer could be picking that up. That would be pretty cool. And the extended team is there to support you if you wanted to do that. And, um, and, and just to clarify yeah. there, Blungy, Digiview, like I think uh, some people use Digiview as just the generic name for the FPV Out project. FPV Out is the whole umbrella project around getting video out of the DJI goggles. Digiview is a specific Android app that yeah. used that framework but when you say Digiview has been abandoned, the FPV Out project is alive and well. Correct. Yeah, uh, okay. alive enough. Yes. Yeah. So the, alive they're enough. All, fair enough. Yeah, that's why we're reviewing this. So um, the DVCA is the current option that people are supposed to use. So we've got a link to that down in the show notes. Um, that is a um, application, and I believe also uh, usable on Android. Mm -hmm. um, and then. Also, Cosmo Streamer NG is a Windows companion app for Cosmo Streamer. Their website has a free native supporting version for the goggles now, so you can use Cosmo Streamer as well if you'd like to use that. Um, and then also that means that because Digiview has uh, been dropped by the lead developer, um, the Access Flying HD box is in a bit of a state currently. Um, so basically, um, Access Flying never released the source code that they promised because they made changes to Digiview app for their box, right? Um, and then, yeah, did not... Um, hmm. Did not basically provide that source code for modifications. Um, and then with one of their updates, um, they switched over to DVCA while retaining Digiview branding. So mm -hmm. basically violated the GPL licensing on that. Oh, um, because they, I hate that. Because they, because they swapped the code without swapping the license. Like they basically didn't make any at, at, at tribu, uh, attributions to the yeah. code. Yeah. Um, and then also there are reports of um, the boxes being unreliable. I've seen quite a few users have issues with their boxes that they're using quite a bit. And the support hasn't been responding a lot. Um, we did reach out today um, to Access Flying um, to see if they could um, get a response. But so far, we reached out this morning and it doesn't look like in China they've had time to respond to that yet. So Yeah. So, all right. So uh, I'm just going to take this video down for the time being. Because I don't want to be promoting the Axis Flying Box if it's got issues, especially not if there's a GPL violation. And then the other main thing I mentioned in this video is the DigiView app, which apparently is also abandoned. So um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this video down. And then maybe I'll make another one covering this new stuff. But for now, that's going away. Yeah. Hopefully, right. uh, Axis is interested in remedying that, and we can get a statement from them for next week's news. Um, yeah, we'll see what their response to that is. But um, just so you know, obviously, don't buy the Axis flying box because it seems like it's in quite a state right now. Well, and um, until until they make a clarity, clar clarifying statement about that, if you already even, have it. And, and yeah, by the I'm way, sure. we we asked for a statement, but we yeah. asked for a statement because I got an email this morning from a customer, and he said. I bought the Axis Flying Box, I used it like five times, and then it died in front of a customer. He was Obviously, he's doing professional stuff. He was like, I was super embarrassed. What What are you going to do to make this right? And he, he said Axis Flying didn't reply to him or blew him off. I don't remember the exact details. So then he forwarded it to me. And then we said, hey, Axis Flying, do you have any statement about this? So when we say Axis Flying hasn't responded, they, they haven't had time to respond to us because that just happened this morning. And in China, it's 6 a.m. right now. But, uh, I mean, they, according to uh, at least one customer, they also didn't yeah. respond to him and had I mean, plenty of time. And also the dev team. Like, I don't know, they haven't been talking to the dev team either. They haven't shared right. source code and they've made swaps without talking to anybody. So, yeah. yeah. But even if you're like, ah, screw the GPL, I don't care about open source. I just want my stuff. Well, I mean, if you're a professional and, I mean, even if you're not a professional and it dies after five times and you're out $200, that's kind of a big deal. Uh, so, so. Axis Flying Box is on our do not buy for the moment and maybe forever list, sadly.
Yep. Axis Flying Absolutely. usually makes, they try to make good stuff and they make a good name for themselves. It's a real shame. 